Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will. I'm here on Stock Island with my friend Aaron. We're over at Hogfish Marina. Uh, the other day, Aaron shot this grouper. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, one of my favorite things to do is to pick up the discarded scraps from boats of the fish that they wouldn't keep, that they would throw in the water to feed the tarpon or throw out. And the reason why is because these are wasted pieces that I'm gonna show you that we can get a couple of meals out of. So Aaron's gonna take the fillets. What I'm gonna take off of the fish is the head, the collar, the rack, and the ribs. And we're gonna do four separate episodes on four different dishes, meals, not even dishes, but meals that we can get out of this fish from something that would be discarded. Now we have in front of us, this is what Aaron's taking. He's gonna take his two fillets. I'm gonna take the ribs off of each of those fillets. Then we're gonna take the rack from here to here. We're gonna take the collars, which is this piece and this piece. And then I'm taking the whole head here. So this monster, we have a clip. If you haven't checked it out, go to Key West Waterman and check out Aaron's channel. And uh, I have a short clip of him actually shooting and landing this fish. So these are the ribs of the fish. And again, a lot of people, when they're taking the filet off, will go above the ribs to get this belly meat here. But a lot of people, what they do is exactly what Aaron just did. They cut this off and this gets thrown into the water. So what we're gonna do today is cut down each individual rib, sear them, make a Thai peanut dipping sauce, and make grouper rib satay. So Aaron's working on his boat and as a thank you, I'm gonna cook lunch right here, which is gonna be the ribs with, like I said, our uh, coconut peanut dipping sauce. So each rib, you can see them on the other side here, and you just cut right down the middle. Now obviously on a smaller fish, you might not be able to get away with taking a rib off like this. But on a fish this big, Aaron, how big was it? 22? 22 pounds. 22 pound grouper. We are gonna get, like I said, four meals out of this one fish on scraps. And this being one of my favorites. Now we're gonna make our sauce for the ribs, which is gonna be coconut milk. Chili paste. I like things spicy, so I'm gonna go a heaping spoonful. The coconut milk will mellow that out. It won't be over the top spicy. For seasoning, fish sauce. Again, smells terrible, tastes amazing. But that's where my salt is gonna come from. And then, just smooth peanut butter. You could use chunky too if you wanted, add another texture, but I like this as a smooth sauce. Now, Madeline, if you're watching, I stole your Nutribullet, but I will bring it home, I promise. <laughs> now, 
that's good and just the right amount of spice. I'm gonna add a little bit more peanut butter just to thicken it up a bit. You're gonna have a lot of sauces in the house, Aaron. Nice. <laughs> That's perfect. A little more, little more balanced. That's really, really nice. Now, you could add soy sauce to this instead of the fish sauce, or just regular salt. But I like the dynamic of the fish sauce inside because it gives it another flavor. So I have my pan up to medium high heat. With the wind, I put it a little bit higher just to make sure my pan will get nice and hot. Now these, because they're still on the bone, we can actually cook them pretty hard. Mostly with a filet, I would be much easier and cook at a lower temp. With these, I almost want to sear them to make a crust on the outside. So I'm going to season them with garlic salt. And this is basically just a red chili seasoning. Those are beautiful. But that's that's the sear that I want on there. Almost crispy. So that's gonna act a lot like a rib and get that crust on the outside. These are done, we can pull them off, put them on our plate. And that is exactly what I want, that crust. And that is going to act just like a pork rib. And then we put a little bit of our coconut peanut sauce. I got a bag of the good stuff. Some cilantro. The only thing I'm missing is scallions, which I should have because we have four monster pots of scallions in the backyard. <laughs> but that'll be for the next one. So here we have our grouper satay ribs. Aaron's done working, so we'll get him to taste test these. <laughs> right now? Yeah. Dude, look at this. And if you need more sauce, because I know you're a sauce boss. I am a sauce boss. You can literally just dip it inside there if you want. Feel, feel free. Right. I'm going to cook off the rest of these while you eat that. I'm going to burn my mouth. I mean, you probably. It shouldn't be too hot. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> so, they have a lot of fat on them, that belly meat along the ribs. And then because the rib is in there, you can cook them really hard and you're not gonna overcook them. You wanna cook them all the way through. You can go a little bit over to get that oh crust God. on them and you are not gonna dry them out. You would be hard pressed to dry that out. So again, the fact that this gets thrown away and not used is insane to me because it's one of the easiest parts of the fish to cook. Wow. All right. That's gonna do it for us here. Actually, let me take a bite of one of these. I highly recommend it. It's meaty, but it's not dry. It doesn't really have the texture of fish anymore. That's incredible. Those are good. All right. Dude. If you like this episode, normally I'd say hit like and subscribe, but I'm gonna tell you tune in next week for the next episode because we're gonna do four parts. This was one meal. I still have these ribs left to cook for three other people here. Then we're gonna do the collars, the head, 
and the rack and make three more meals in this series. So I'll see you on the next one. Oh, I took a bite of yours, sorry. That's all right.